Carnival is coming, and as we get ready to celebrate the color, the creativity, the costumes, the dancing, the music of Carnival this weekend, we also want to share some of its incredibly important characters. This year's parades, Grand Marshal is a Nobel Peace Prize winning activist for indigenous rights in Guatemala, Rigoberto Menchu Tum. As Len Ramirez tells us, she's traveling to the Bay Area for the event and sparking a surge of pride among our local indigenous community and supporters. <laughs> Ancient dance traditions passed down from the Maya and Aztec are kept alive by people like the Bay Area's Lidia Doniz. Lidia is a Guatemalan American whose family was forced to flee the genocide of indigenous peoples in her home country in 1975. And today, Lidia credits Rigoberta Menchu Tum, who became the face of Guatemala's human rights movement and who will be honored as this year's Carnival Grand Marshal with saving ancient traditions and restoring pride in indigenous cultures. She has um, allowed for people to to acknowledge the importance of our rituals, our culture, our ceremonies and traditions that have been, have been passed down for thousands of thousands of years and have the potential to be lost during the war. Menchu Tum won the Nobel Prize in 1992 after dedicating and risking her life mm -hmm. to publicize the plight of indigenous peoples during the Guatemalan Civil War in which hundreds of thousands of people were killed or vanished. She lost her own father, mother, and brothers to the violence. I think she said the quiet things out loud, really spoke up about the violence against indigenous people, the, the violence against indigenous women, um, from in a country with political unrest. And that it is a very dangerous thing. The fact that she still kept going, um, despite all the tragedy, I think was really important piece as a woman um, to be able to speak up. We lived in the, in an era of the genocide, the tortures. Menchu Tum is still speaking up. Although she was forced to leave her home country and come to the U.S. for a time, she was able to return to Guatemala and uses her platform to continue to fight for the rights of her people. Lydia says Menchu Tum's influence has resulted in good here in the Bay Area. There are now places like the Indigenous Healing center in Marin dedicated to the special needs of indigenous families. Everybody matters and that everybody deserves to be safe and I think that um, her work is a testament of, um, of, of how someone can speak out loud and really make movement and change. Rigoberta Menchu Tum, a person to be celebrated at Carnival and a triumph for the indigenous community of the Bay Area.